Good afternoon, people watching Mid 65. Lisa Boyce, I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day, according to scripture. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> it is grace. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4 is the reason we're saved, the reason we're kept saved, and how we're saved. It is grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, you and I are whosoever, believe in him, will not perish, but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You acknowledge the fact that you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ Jesus, that's what the thief on the cross did. He put his faith and trust in Christ Jesus. The moment you accept him as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus, rapture ready, which <laughs> with everything that's happening now is about to happen at any time. And sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, change you, feed you, minister to you, encourage you. He's your best friend. That's the gospel. So there is a... And I just got a glimpse of this. Um... 1,400 tons of methanol spills into the Ohio River and is seeping, according to what I'm seeing, this is going over into Kentucky. I don't know yet. I, I don't have, um, from what I'm hearing, it's all over the news right now. And I don't have a, um, a whole article on it just yet. But, um, I'm definitely going to come back with that because this is, um, this is pretty serious. Then I'm getting this. China is now issuing a warning over Taiwan's leaders, uh, leaders visit to us so taiwan's president and i'm not going to even pronounce the name because i'll butcher this up really bad is set to travel to the u.s this week and plans to stop in new york and carolina uh, california where she is expected to meet u.s uh, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, despite strong warnings from China. Okay, China is not liking this at all. And neither is uh, North Korea. So, I think her name is... Well, I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to say she is uh depart for the u.s today for a 10-day trip which will include visits to belize and guatemala according to the president's office while the politician has not confirmed any meeting with um mccarthy taiwanese officials previously told the financial times that she would indeed sit down with the republican lawmaker during her visit uh to California. The outlet noted that both sides were reluctant to publicize such a meeting to avoid triggering any angry reaction from China, which considers Taiwan to be part of its sovereign territory. If she... It says on Wednesday, a spokesperson for China's Taiwan Affairs Office slammed the upcoming visit saying that she would not merely be staying in a hotel but meeting with American officials. So, 
If she has contact, it goes on to say, if she has contact with uh, how U.S. House Speaker McCarthy, it will be another provocation that seriously violates the one China principle, harms China's sovereignty and territorial integrity, and destroys peace and stability in Taiwan Strait. We firmly oppose this and will definitely take measures to resolutely fight back. Though the spokesperson did not specify what kind of countermeasures would be taken. A trip by former House uh, Speaker Nasty last year triggered a harsh reaction from Beijing, which launched unprecedented military drills in the airspace and waters around Taiwan. Beijing has repeatedly urged foreign countries do not keep dip direct, diplomatic tie, direct diplomatic contacts with Taiwanese officials insisting it is part of its territory under the one China principle. Only a handful of nations recognize Taiwan as an independent state and though the U.S. is not among them, American lawmakers regularly regularly travel to the island for official meetings. While the State Department has approved countless measures of arms sales to Taipei, or Taipei over the decades. Washington has long maintained a policy of strategic ambiguity toward Taiwan. Resident Sleepy has largely abandoned that approach, declaring the U.S. would come to the island's defense in the event of a Chinese attack. Really now? <laughs> really? For real? Well, then we got this. Now, I've been getting earthquake alerts all. I get them a lot. But yesterday was a little different. A little bit different. There's earthquake clusters in Yellowstone Volcano. These clusters... And so far this morning, there have been eight small quakes beneath Yellowstone Lake inside Yellowstone National Park. The lake is the center of the caldera for the largest supervolcano on Earth. Now, it's saying that none of these small quakes are very significant at all. There have been so many in such a short time is concerning. And I've never seen that before. I've passed Yellowstone twice driving cross country and I I've been keeping up with earthquakes now for several years and I've never seen a cluster like this right now so it is something to look at and it's a little concerning so you know that just tells me we're closer to the rapture now I also got something about Israel this morning and this is interesting because I agree with Netanyahu with this one he told Biden to stay out of his Israel's business Israel will not tolerate meddling in its internal affairs even from the best of friends the Prime Minister says Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has responded after sleepy voice concerns about proposed judicial reforms in Israel, insisting his country would make its own decisions and not succumb to the pressure from abroad. <laughs> I would have loved to have seen that. <laughs> in a series of tweets shared on Tuesday night, Netanyahu noted that he has known his U.S. counterpart for over 40 years and commended Biden I have a cat that's visiting me. Oh boy. Commended Biden. Are you seeing this is him? <laughs> he has commended Biden for a long standing committed commitment to Israel. However, 
However, he urged Washington not to meddle in his country's internal affairs after Biden said he was very concerned about the upcoming legal changes. My administration, go, 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 go. My administration is committed to strengthening democracy by restoring the proper balance between the three branches of government, which we are striving to achieve via a broad consensus. Netanyahu said, adding, Israel is a sovereign country which makes its own decisions by the will of its people and not based on pressures from abroad, including from the best of friends. I didn't know him and uh, Biden were friends. I really didn't. The controversial judicial reform would allow Israel's parliament to override decisions by the Supreme Court through a simple majority vote. A move critics say will weaken the judiciary's traditional check on government power. The reform has prompted major protests across Israel and drawn criticism from some foreign states, including the U.S. On Monday, however, Netanyahu announced that the government would take out, take a time out on the proposal until next Knesset session, hoping the additional time would help lawmakers reach an understanding on the legislation. Nonetheless, the decision failed to stop criticism of the reform. Speaking uh, to reporters earlier on Tuesday, Biden was asked to comment on the legal change, saying that he hopes Netanyahu walks away from the plan before it, enact, before it is enacted into law, adding they cannot continue down this road. <laughs> Seriously? Really? Like many strong supporters of Israel, I'm very concerned. Hmm, this just dropped in my spirit. I wonder if this is the hook in the jaw that leaves Israel to fend for herself. This could be, because Israel will be alone without the US support, without anyone's support. Could be. Like many strong supporters of Israel, I am concerned, and I am concerned that they get this straight. As the White House appears to escalate its criticism of Israeli's policies, Florida Republican Governor Ron DeSantis is preparing for a trip to Jerusalem next month where he will give a keynote address at an event hosted by the Jerusalem Post and the Museum of Tolerance. While DeSantis has yet to make a formal announcement for a 2024 presidential bid, he is widely seen as a forerunner among prospective Republican candidates and has grown popular among conservatives due to his, uh, you can read this later. I'm going to link this in the description box. I got more news coming in. This is interesting. Very interesting. About um, Israel. Basically, he told Biden to butt out. But I'm wondering, is this... Is this going to leave Israel to fend for herself, for real. This might be it. This might be the subject matter. I'll be back later. Thank you.